previously on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You finally come out. Dio. My, my, young people these days are so full of piss. 20 meter radius! And we're all clear! More light belongs in the trash! Check Dio. Number one. Number two. Um. Number one. Number two. Um. About the same. Number one might be a tiny bit better. Number three. Number four. Number three. Five. And six. Uh, five. And six. Same? Yeah, they're pretty much. Can I see five one more time? Five and six. Yeah, they're about the same. Then fetch me my leg. I, Undyne, will strike you down! Bring it here this instant! You don't have what it takes to kill me. You're the one who's gonna die! Is it cool if we end this fight now? This was my escape route to your grandfather, and now his blood is mine! We killed an innocent man. Just as I thought, Joseph's blood suits me well. It's like it was meant to be mine from the very beginning. Far more intense than anything I've ever felt before. Sensation is absolutely incredible! <laughs> A century ago, this body belonged to Jonathan Joestar, and now these hands have feasted on the blood of his grandson, Joseph! But it was you, Jotaro, who so thoughtfully led me here! Your ancestor must be ruling in his grave! You Joestars have always been a nuisance, so I think the time has come to put you self-righteous cretins in your proper place beneath my boot! In the end, Jotaro, it would appear that the Joestar's destiny is to facilitate my ascension to perfection! Come to anger. Fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. The tragic fall of the cherry blossom magnifies its beauty as with life. You say something? Battle one. Fight! Yeah! <laughs> 
worry about my fate, Jotaro. I've accepted that it was meant to be. Wait a sec. That's his soul? But now? Kakuin deciphered the mystery of Dio's stand, and I imparted that knowledge to you. Had we attacked Dio together before learning his secret, he would have been able to easily kill all of us. You now have the ability to move while time is frozen, but you only have two or three seconds. Make sure you use that time wisely. Remember what I told you, Jotaro. You mustn't lose your head. If you lose control, it'll only backfire. Keep your emotions in check when you face off with Dio. Jotaro. <laughs> it's been quite the journey, eh, my boy? An unforgettable adventure. Call me crazy. <laughs> but our time together was a lot of fun. More fun than I've had in a long time. That was real, right? Hey! What are you looking at? Jotaro! seen her come back from worse in the past. She's definitely oh. slowing down here a bit, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the road for her. Not by a long shot. Oh, what a slam! That hurt! Oh! She's on the defensive now. She's gonna need to find a way to mount an offense here. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes oh. getting hit, that motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. The world! An amazing Bring up time to, this point to a halt! From where I sit, ah! any one of these women can win this thing. One second, two seconds, and three seconds. Now four. He's turning the tables. Ain't turned yet. Look out for what to do. She is on fire. Five seconds. Interesting. Six seconds. This makes seven seconds. My power grows exponentially. I can stop time for even longer. But as for you, Jotaro, you wasted the opportunity you had to move. Gambling on getting me two seconds before time resumed was all for naught. What a miscalculation! I feel so marvelous I can serenade the world! The moment I've dreamed of for so long is finally upon us! Eight seconds have passed! I've been an immortal being for an entire century! But never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined I'd feel something this exhilarating! The blood of the Joe Stars courses through my veins! The blood of the Joe Stars courses through my veins! This is going to be right after all, man. Yeah, this stupid temper got me in a this shit ton of trouble. Well be the beginning for Christ's sake. Her. I don't think I've no, ever seen her absorb this much punishment. He still hasn't cold. faced the if full force of my rage. Off, Nine seconds total. Story. That's how long my power Nine lasted time. just now. Yes. Perhaps nine seconds is the new extent of my stand's extraordinary power. You bastard. <laughs>
Soul Calibur 6. suddenly vanished amidst the standstill. Four seconds. But he pushed the thoughts out of his mind. No matter what sinister plot Dio was hatching, no matter what unholy tack he attempted to unleash, Jotaro had only two seconds to respond. Only two seconds to drive Star Platinum's fists into Dio once and for all. Five seconds. I've had just about enough of this neon vampire. The next time I see that goddamn face of his, I'm gonna freaking lose it and beat him into the ground! The tragic fall of the cherry blossom magnifies its beauty as with life. Let's get this over with. Six seconds! That's right, Dio. Come and get it! Battle one. Fight! <laughs> For some reason, 
I can't move at all! I don't get it! This is impossible! I'm frozen! Hey, Dio. It's been 11 seconds. I guess that's your stand's limit, huh? What? I stopped time at 9 seconds, and it's a good thing I did. It gave me a chance to escape. Good grief, you idiot. Here's the thing. Since you're frozen like that, destroying you will only take a second. A striking blow. This is madness. You can stop time too. The elbow. Curse Another you. One. This whole act was a ruse to waste my nine seconds, wasn't it, you bastard? How does it feel, Dio? Oh, Tell me. <laughs> He's taken on some How's it feel here. having your this arch enemy tower behind you while you stand frozen like and helpless? I suppose it's a lot like good. holding your breath while underwater. Only someone's out to get you when your air is running out as you desperately swim for your life. Then, after finally reaching the surface and taking a breath, you can pull right back in. Sound familiar? But after everything you've done, Dio, you're not gonna get any sympathy from me. Time is about to start moving again. Compassion is something you're never gonna get from me. I haven't got any kindness for your sorry undead ass. Oh, I gotta admit, you look pretty pathetic writhing on the ground in agony. As much as I want to, killing you like this would leave a pretty bad taste in my mouth. I wonder how long it'll take for you to heal. Three seconds, four maybe. The very moment your legs are healed, Star Platinum's headed your way to demolish you. <laughs> if this were the Wild West, the hero would say... Big boot. Giving a piece of her mind now. And I'm not so sure she can afford to do that, Cole. Sleeper slam! It's Opportunity to make such a human declaration. <laughs> you think like a true mortal, cursed with a fleeting life destined for obscurity. A bad taste in your mouth, you say? What, are you afraid you'd regret killing me? That reasoning is as pathetic as your species. Your foolish honor will be your demise. <laughs> that is where you and I differ. My vision is clear, and my mind is focused on a single goal. I want to dominate. Nothing more, nothing less. It's the only thing that will bring me fulfillment. But how I go about doing that doesn't matter in the slightest. How about a little blood in your eyes? I win! Pump handle! Pump handle coming! Vertical suplex! Nice! Incredible! Easily kicks out of that one. It's going to take more than that. We're looking at complete domination here. Not today. She's looking at it. you got to believe this. 
this one's over. There it is. Once again, thank you for tuning into this great women's matchup. You guys see that distance? This is all but over. Oh, what a kick to the face. God. Sleeper slam. Putting it all on the line. Look out! She's looking at it. Oh, that might have just broken something. That should do it. Forcefully delivered. I knew it was only a matter of time. The tweet. features clean off your face. Victory is on the horizon. Uh-oh. The tide might be turning. I Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. Look at her go. What a strike. Harsh impact. Got the shoulders down. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. I'm How? having a hard time believing that one. She is on fire. And she's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. Beautiful technique. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, man, right to the neck. I see where she's going with this. She's countering nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. And now one more time. Ooh, what impact. That has got to be it. Okay, this time has to do it. Elbow drop. Right to the heart. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oof. Shoulders down, is it enough? She might just be running on instinct at this point. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. So much damage to the neck. She's looking completely worn out right now. It doesn't seem to be your night tonight, fellas. I'm not used to seeing this. Given what they've shown us here tonight, it's a shame that one of these women will have to walk away on the losing end of this one. Oh, what a boot to the face! That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh, continuing to punish them! Oh, man, she's rolling now. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Boom! Oh, oh, oh. oh, kick to the face. Take it off her feet now. And you're not going to win many matches down there. I can tell you that. Oh.
This singles contest has a victory. When the sun comes up, you'll be nothing but dust. You only made one mistake. One that got you killed. Dio, this whole thing might have ended differently, but... You wouldn't piss me off. Was it worth it? I can honestly say that a win is a little more satisfying when you make your opponent tap out. And the crowd here tonight still in awe over that great match. So we're all on the same page, right? We bury the body, we never speak of this again. Deal. Got it. Yeah. Wow, that was exhausting. Wait a minute, is, it, is, that, is that his car?
his opponents. First, from the United States of America, weighing in at 640 pounds, one half of the NXT It does Jazz not feel like a Wednesday. The Warrior Princess, Valesca Byron, tell me, how Malenko. do you think the champ looks heading into this one? I'm impressed, Michael. Sometimes you see a champion look a little less motivated when the title is not on the line. But that's clearly not the case here tonight. Does the fact that this is not a title match change the champ's game plan here? I don't think so, Michael. If I know him, he sees this match as just another opportunity to prove he is the most dominant force in all of the WWE. Guys, I'm kind of freaking out about killing that guy. Anybody else have a hard time sleeping? No, but there's an old John Mellencamp song you're not gonna believe. Wait, wait, what's all this stuff about you guys killing someone? The Why is that? The 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 we killed that boy. Whoa, whoa, what? You, you really killed someone? Holy moly, I wanna and hear this. To be over right, man, are you a bear with if us? You're so, so weird. Now, Last night I was in St. Louis. I even have a picture. See that? That's yesterday's game on the newspaper. On a Quahog informant? They sell the Quahog informant in St. Louis? Probably, but good luck with that whole you three and not me kill the guy thing. Damn it, that bastard is bad. He's yes, a worse yes. accomplice than Johnny Windchimes. What a strike. Back suplex. Since there are no disqualifications in a fatal four-way match, a superstar has to be aware of the fact that if they're in an elimination fatal four-way match, someone who was eliminated can come back for retribution, and it's all legal. So you can eliminate an opponent, and they can interfere in the match later, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. What a headbutt. This is a stop. Good grief. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. Byron, you touched on something earlier that's worth repeating. If you're a superstar competing in a fatal four-way elimination match and a competitor is eliminated, they can look to settle a score and affect the outcome of the match later. That's always a possibility in a fatal four-way match because of the no disqualification stipulation. Michael, that's what I like to call an occupational hazard. We saw an example of that in 2016 during the fatal four-way elimination match to determine the number one contender for the WWE Championship. 
The Miz was eliminated from the match, but let's say he had a major influence on the outcome of the con. Going for broke. Harsh impact. I'm not sure how much he has left. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Kick down into Ooh, the shoulder. Wow, that hurt. Drop kick. Oh, oh great height. Boom. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. What a strike. He's lining him up. Across the shoulders. Down, Samoan driver. He's really looking to prove a point here. This might be it. Oh, my. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Look at this. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Lariat. Look out, look out. This could just striking at will. This could be the turning point. Haymaker connects. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? This Boom, what impact. Oh, it's over. He wants it one more time. Here we go. Nail it. Can he finish the job? Wow, kicking butt and taking names. Oh boy, he is rolling. Incoming! Getting the ladder set up right in the center of the ring, a picture perfect location. Devastating kick. This capacity crowd starting to sense the end is near, and I don't disagree. Tommy's counter here. Oh boy, he is rolling. Destroy your face. Oh, nasty impact. Drop kick with precision. Oh, what a kick to the face. Oh my God. He gets him with a reversal. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Oh, trying to dislocate the shoulder. Up and face first, slapjack. I hate to fight like this quick, Maya, but I got it. I can't go to jail. They'll arrest me good on account right of my now. belly. This is a nerve-wracking situation. Oh, targeting the stomach. What? Is... What are you talking? What are you both doing? Sure. What the hell? That's a bit of a surprise. What the hell is going on? Right I'll tell you what's Big going time. on. Cleveland's trying to frame me. Look He's got my miniature right portraits button. of cool guys. Oh, yeah, those are baseball cards. Whatever. He's using it to frame me for murder. Well, I'm not the only one. Joe's got my Sports Illustrated football phone. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Great this. job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. It is a mess. He's too quick for him there. Look at all you pathetic people bringing stuff to frame each other. You're supposed to be friends. Hey, that's my shovel. Damn right. That's how smart I am. I only had to bring one thing. This way I can dig the hole and just throw this in. But once you throw it in there, how are you going to get the dirt back on top? Give me your shovel. You're gonna have to kill Rats, me first. To get a quick victory here. Not a bad strategy. Give me back my rattling plastic bow. I don't know about you guys, bow. but this looks like quite a gamble to take at this point in the match. I agree with you, Corey. Heading up the ladder now. Wait, this wait, wait, guys, 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 what? Don't you see? I don't this, like the look at his eye this here, is folks. a horrible thing. Oh, boy, thing. he is worried. Oh, boy. Just a matter of time now shot. before one of these superstars takes firm an control man. of this ladder match. Well, don't feel too bad. Look at that. Money's worth from the opening oh my bell. God. Here is your well, winner. that's a relief. We may have actually made this town a better place. Now that's yeah, eking out a win. Step. But wow, at least somehow now he's made gone turning forever. back three of WWE's <laughs> top superstars look somewhat easy. This is Speedwagon Foundation Car 2. We're traveling northbound on the Al Neal Expressway, and we've retrieved Dio's remains. I repeat, 
We've retrieved Dio's remains. Dio's body is showing cellular activity. He must be exposed to sunlight immediately. Proceed with extreme caution. Roger. Noriaki Kakuin is dead. His body is being transported now. Jean-Pierre Polnareff is unconscious. The medical staff of Car 1 has him. Roger. Car 2, I have a question. Why have you placed the remains of Dio and Joseph Joestar in the same car? Because it's not over yet. Dio borrowed something from us. Huh? And we need to take it back from the bastard. I'm not following your train of thought! I need you to perform a blood transfusion between the two bodies. Huh? That's absurd! You want us to transfuse Dio's blood into Mr. Joestar? I see. You're trying to bring it back to life! It hasn't been all that long since Dio drained his blood. His upper half was destroyed in the fight, but we'll take as much as we can. If we hurry, I think we can make it. Oh. Hey, car one, did you catch all that? Over. Roger. It's impossible! He doesn't even have a pulse! Right! Not to mention his heart has stopped, which means we couldn't circulate his blood if we wanted to. Don't give me that. <gasps> You could call everything we've done on this journey impossible. I'm tired of hearing words like impossible or futile. They all mean nothing to us. You can do it if his heart's beating, right? Well, you're in luck. Thanks to Dio, I've already had a bit of practice with stopping and starting hearts. Tarzan the Ape Man. Oh, Derek! Okay, now answer this one. Who sang Eat It, the spoof of Beat It? Weird Al Yankovic! Good grief. It has to be you. Who else would know pointless crap like that? This is car two, over! It's amazing! Mr. Joestar is back with us! He's come back from the brink of death! It's a miracle! Over! Hear that? We've taken back everything you stole from us. Dio. Welcome to the stage of history retold. Seek your own demise. The 
The desire for power leads the warriors to the Arab Desert. You dare challenge me! Battle one. Fight! stage of history retold. Soul of Maxi. You'll die. to France, Polnareff? This may be a bit forward, but your family's gone. Why don't you come back with me to New York? <clears throat> Mr. Joestar, I know they're gone, but France is the only home I've ever known. It's filled with memories. It's a place I must return to no matter where I go. But if you ever need anything, all you have to do is call and I'll be there in a heartbeat. We're gonna miss you, buddy. It wasn't easy, that's for damn sure. But I had a hell of a time, and I'm lucky to have been on this adventure with you guys. <laughs> Remember, we're a team, and that's never gonna change. Calling all passengers for France International Airlines, Flight 92 to Paris. Please proceed to gate 18. Aviento, you ornery bastard. Live long and happy. And you, his booty grandson, you'd better not forget me. We'll meet again. That is, of course, if you don't hate my guts by then, stubborn jackass. Wouldn't be able to forget about you, even if we wanted to, Polnareff. You'd be well. Au revoir. Yeah. See you later.
Jotaro! They're coming home! 